Hi, Dr. Acton again. On our last video, we talked about how when a joint misaligns, it will begin to scrape and rub and wear and tear and break down. Today, I want to talk about what causes a joint to misalign. We've always known that traumas can do it. Car wrecks, falls, sports injuries, anything that gives you a jerk can cause a joint to misalign. Ankle sprains, good example. Whiplash in a neck, good example. But there's many other things that can cause joints to misalign. In fact, postures you sleep in, postures you work in, repetitive motions over time can cause things to misalign. Doesn't always happen all at once. Another biggie is the foundation. Let me show you what I mean. This is called crooked man. And all of us are crooked man to one degree or another. One of the things we have found out is most of the problems that are happening through the upper body usually have a foundational component in the feet or in the legs. 80 to 90% of human beings have an anatomical short leg. I have worn a five millimeter heel lift in my right shoe for 60 years now. Yeah, I can't grow a longer leg. Well, you can imagine if you have an anatomical short leg, how that can throw the balance off all the way up. Another biggie is the arches. We have three arches in our feet. This is what an optimal foot should look like. The red is where you should be carrying weight. The first arch that people lose is the lateral arch on the outside of the foot. That is called mild pronation. The next arch that people lose is the transverse arch that goes across the base of their toes, also called the metatarsal arch. And then finally, the medial arch. And this is what most people know as a flat foot. The loss of any of these arches is immediately transferred up through the knee, into the hip, into the spine, because our body is always compensating to try and stay balanced to gravity. On the next video, we'll discuss how can we tell if you have an alignment problem to begin with. Stay tuned.